Ultramox, the multi-worming solution for horses from Bayer. Ultramox is the only triple active wormer that contains moxidectin. Ultramox is effective against internal parasites of horses, but the addition of moxidectin means that it's also active against encysted cyathostomes. Ultramox was developed in New Zealand and is manufactured in New Zealand for New Zealand horses. Available from your local vet, equine specialty or farm supply store. Bayer, science for a better life. The whole Aquaria brand is founded upon the life and the way of life in this part of the world. We want to create fragrances that reflect our lifestyle here and reflect who we are as people. It's important that the environment, the fragrances, the natural waxes and everything play together to create this one beautiful thing. Quiz. Query. Try. Spy. Take cover. Go for a swim. Go on a whim. Go outside in and inside out. Look once. Look twice. Follow a compass, not a clock. Never stop discovering. Oh, welcome back to Land Rover Horse of the Year 2020. And we are moments from a start in the Bailey's Young Rider Final. Set at 1 metre 30 to 1 metre 40. 22 combinations who will get their name on the Big Red Trophy. A lot of famous names here in New Zealand equestrian sport have had their names engraved on the Young Rider Trophy. Bailey's Young Rider Final. Second to last competition here in Land Rover Premier Arena for Friday, March the 13th, 2020, Land Rover Horse of the Year. Our first combination is in the ring, and we welcome Emily Hayward. And Emily is aboard Yandu Lady Gold. She is the current leader of the FMG Young Rider Series class. She won this class last year back to back in 2018, 2019. She won the Olympic Cup last year. Very, very talented young lady is Emily Hayward from Te Awamutu. Works on a dairy farm, does Emily, and she rides a Yandu Lady Gold. 15-year-old chestnut mare, and a very, very unfortunate way to start the class. And that will unfortunately mean elimination. Now, a fall for horse and a rider. And then Yendu Lady Gold for Emily Hayward. She'll pop the bridle back up over her ears, checking to make sure that Yendu Lady Gold is fine. Checking to make sure everything's A-OK -okay for Yendu Lady Gold and Emily Hayward. So she's all good. She leaves the arena and we move on to our next combination. That is Sarah West and Sarah is aboard Oaks Centurion. From Matter Matter is Sarah in the Bailey's Young Rider final. Second combination out. Sarah studying equine dentistry and works part time for Tiakio Racing Stables in Matter Matter. She had a great ride at Takapoto three weeks ago in the Gold Tour. She was the top performed Kiwi rider in finishing sixth. She rides a 10 year old grey gelding by Centus out of ASB Indria, bred by Oaks Stud in Cambridge. Oaks Centurion for Sarah West.
Time allowed of 80 seconds. She comes now to this treble. We saw cause a few little problems in the seven-year-old. They're going back the other way. Straight down to the NRM vertical. Nicely done for Sarah West. Time allowed of 80 seconds. She's three fences from home. Been over the Wade Equine Oxer for Sarah. She sits on four faults. Takes another rail there at the Land Rover vertical. Comes to the last. Does Sarah West. 82-1-1 is her time. So, total of nine for Sarah and Oaks Centurion. Bailey's Real Estate. Great to have them on board here again. Land Rover Horse of the Year 2020. Bailey's Real Estate. Young Rider Final. 22 combinations have qualified to be here. Third combination in the ring now. We welcome Ali Carson. And Ali is aboard. Wairau Ritchie. Ten-year-old station bred gelding. Bred by Hilton Alexander at Wairau Station. Riding Wairau Ritchie. Ali Carson in the Bailey's Young Rider final. Time will be somewhat tighter to get for a lot of these riders. They'll have to keep coming forward. There's a time allowed of 80 seconds at the moment. But course designer Werner Degg does have the option to stretch it out. Should he need to or should he deem it fit? Rain has fallen here a little bit in the last 10 to 15 minutes, making the ground slightly slippery. But these horses will have sprigs in their shoes. We call them studs. Basically, like the studs of a rugby boot, they can screw in and screw out of holes in the horse's shoes that are on their feet. Just giving them a little bit more security on the slippery ground. Ali Carson on Waharau Ritchie. Comes now to the last, does Ali. So it's uh, two rails and eight volts for Ali Carson. Their time is 75.05. So set inside the time allowed of 80 seconds. These horses have to travel at 375 metres a minute. That is what we are set at, 375 metres per minute. That's what we set this course at. And we welcome Amelia Forsyth. She is aboard Henton Fabergé. Sits in 13th place, does Amelia, on the FMG Young Rider Series leaderboard for this year. 20 years old. Rides Henton Fabergé, bred by Henton Lodge Hanoverians, Dave and Bridget Sutton in Auckland. By the stallion, a full edition out of the mare Gala Torre. Oh, just a rail there over the IRT Oxa. She sets up for the treble bar. Comes down to 8A, B and C. A lot of timber down here as they come to this line. A, B and C, they go down to the NRM vertical. Nicely done there for Amelia. The treble caused a few issues coming back the other way in the seven-year-old class. At this stage, not causing any issues of note in the young rider class. This is a two-round competition, though, so hopefully we get some clears. Six combinations will guarantee to be coming back.
Eight jump, one time for Amelia and Hinton Fabergé. So as we were saying, it is a two-round competition. Six combinations will guarantee to be back if we get more than six clears. All of those clears will be back for the second round, no matter what. The faults will be carried through to the second round. Should we have an equality of faults after the completion of the second round, there will be a jump off, should it be needed. Oliver Croucher, next combination, rides Waitangi Surf, known as Paris in the stables. Is Waitangi Surf, ridden by Oliver Croucher, owned by Oliver's parents, Paul and Kirsty. Bred by Jocelyn Bailey and the team Waitangi Sport Horses up in the far north, the Bay of Islands. Waitangi Surf. Been a very, very good combination this year. Is Oliver very, very quick against the jump off. He just sits on four faults at the moment though, does. Ollie doesn't completely count him out. We still haven't got a clear. Eight faults is our best round so far. That was Ali Carson and Waharel Ritchie. Comes down the treble, does Ollie. Nicely down the treble for Oliver. And over nine. Comes to the third to last fence. He comes now to the Land Rover. He's got a little Liverpool underneath it. Just gives them something a little bit extra to look at as they jump. Coming now to the final fence, the Bailey's Real Estate final fence. Bailey's Real Estate, young rider. It's a four fault round for Ollie, 75.56. And it's one rail down, four faults for Waitangi Surf and Oliver Croucher. Briar Burnett Grant rides a fibre fresh Delphine NZPH. Bailey's Real Estate, young rider, final, 1 metre 30 to 1 metre 40. Our next combination comes in to the ring, and that is Le Bam for Alexandra Hammond. Comes now there to the Ultra Mox. Ox offence two on the course in the Bailey's young rider, final, set at 1 metre 30, 1 metre 40. Alexandra Hammond and LeBam. LeBam, a nine-year-old Bay Gelding by the stallion Leo Kalon out of the Mir Wilma. Owned by Cavaletti Limited, written by Alexandra Hammond. They moved from Singapore in 2014. Alexander and LeBam. Still waiting our elusive clear round. This is combination number six. Comes the last couple of fences, it does Alex and LeBam. She sits on eight faults as she comes to the last. Alexandra Hammond aboard LeBam. 
She'll also incur two time penalties. Six seconds over the time allowed. So a total of 10 for Alexandra Hammond and LeBam. So time proving to be a little bit tight here in the young rider class. These riders have to travel at 375 metres a minute. On average, the whole way around this course. They can go faster and slower, of course, when they deem fit. But on average, they have to travel at 375 metres a minute. That means the time allowed is 80 seconds. You go over the time allowed for the first four seconds, you will incur one time penalty and every four seconds after that or part of will also incur one time penalty. So next combination, Todd Magna aboard Arwit Tuna Jonesy. From Hokitika is Todd, studies at Lincoln University, just finished his third year at uni. Ryan's Awatuna Jonesy. Clydesdale, Holstone across by Latorio. Comes to the treble now. Over A, B, and C. Clear at nine. Three from home for Todd. Aboard Awatuna Jonesy. Jumping well is. Now we turn it, Jonesy. Two to go. Shortens them up over the Land Rover. Liverpool comes to the last. The Baileys Oxer. And the Baileys Land Rover Young Rider of the Year. And has a big miscommunication there, does Todd. And he'll finish on eight faults. Now we turn it, Jonesy. And Todd Magna. Total of eight. So our leader at the moment, Ollie Croucher, sits on four faults with Waitangi Surf. It is a two-round competition, though. Two-round competition. Guaranteed six combinations will be back. If we have more than six clears, all of the clears will be back. But Ollie leads at the moment with four faults. Fifteen combinations are left to go in the first round. We have one four falter, two eight falters, and two nine falters. That's how we sit so far in the Bailey's Young Rider final. One metre 30 to one metre 40. All of these young riders have qualified throughout the year to get here. Welcome now, Kira Manson. Kira from Auckland rides TP All Class. By TP Classic Act out of Millie. All of these riders under the age of 21. So it is a restricted class to riders 21 and under. <laughs> Kira Mason and TP All Class. Jumps over A and B. Sits on four faults at the moment. Nice big leap over the IRT Oxer. One in the middle of the ring. Comes to this News Talk ZB triple bar. Heads now to 8A, B, C and 9. A lot of timber down this line. We saw it cause a few problems in the seven-year-old coming back the other way. Three from home. Kira Mason on TP All Class. Just the Baileys Oxer to go for Kira Mason and TP All Class. Up and over the last. Gives it a little bit of a rub. But it is a 12 fault round for Kira and TP All Class. Bailey's Young Rider final of the year. Nine combinations have gone. We've got 14 left to go. And we sit with four faults at the top. Ollie Croucher aboard Waitangi Surf. They hold the lead 
at the moment, but it is a two round competition. Two round competition. Guarantee six combinations will be back. Should we get more than six clears? All of those clears will be back for the second round. Should we have an equality of faults after the two rounds, there will be a jump off. We go now to a young lady from Morrinsville, Emma Watson, and she rides Maddox Latino by Latorio. Bred by Laura Knight. Maddox Latino for Emma Watson. just over the time allowed for Maddox Latino and Emma Watson so they'll sit on nine and they will slot in to fourth place at this stage will Emma and Maddox Latino so nine faults now slot in to fourth place with being the quickest eight falter at this stage so next combination Seal Butler Aboard Matafio Luciano. Seal Butler from Tauranga. They sit in 41st place at the moment in the FMG Young Rider Series. And Matafiro Luciano, an Andalusian thoroughbred class by Woodstock Ricaro. Uh, so it is one rail and one time fault, time of 82.13. So a total of five for Seal and Metafio Luciana. So they will slot in to second place at the moment with their five penalties. The top six combinations will come back for the second round. Should we have seven clears, those seven clears will come back. It doesn't matter if they jump clear, they're guaranteed to come back. At the moment, we're just sorting out how many faults it's going to be. Can we get an elusive clear? Not very often does the Bailey's Young Rider final come down to a jump off. Generally, if you can jump double clear, you will win this class. 
We go now to Lachelle Small aboard AMS Glenbrook Archie Bunker. He jumped in the Lady Rider yesterday here in Land Rover Premier Arena. AMS Glenbrook Archie Bunker. 12 year old gelding by Cassini 2 out of the mere dozen roses. Bred by Tanya Davy and the Meachin family. AMS Glenbrook Archie Bunk, formerly ridden by Chris Harris down in the South Island. Gives <laughs> the NRM vertical a bit of a rub, does. Archie. Oh, and just slips a little bit there on a takeoff in the front. Did AMS Glenbrook Archie Bunker come to the last and they jump that clear. She's inside the time, so it is just a four fault round. Michelle Small and AMS Glenbrook Archie Bunker. They join Ollie Croucher at the top of the leaderboard. So the top five. Sorry, the top six at this moment. We've got Michelle Small, Ollie Croucher, Seal Butler, Ali Carson, Todd Magna, and Emma Watson. Those are your top six at this stage in the Bailey's Young Rider final with 10 combinations left to go in the first round. Aisha Luminacci and Waitangi Skynet. They sit 38th in the FMG Young Rider Series. 18-year-old from Palmerston North is Aisha. Waitangi Skynet by Cassini 2 out of the Mere Patonk. Bred by Jocelyn Bailey in the Bay of Islands. Same breeder as Ollie Crouch's Waitangi Surf. She comes to the last, the Bailey's Oxa. On eight faults at the moment does Aisha Luminacci aboard Waitangi Skynet. Takes a rail there and it will be two time faults as well. She'll finish on ten faults. Well, Aisha. Fourteen jump. 14 total faults for Aisha Luminacci and Waitangi Skynet. Bailey's Young Rider final course of the year. Land Rover Premier Arena for 2020. Still waiting the elusive clear round. 12 combinations have gone. Nine are left to go. Will we get a clear round in the first round? of the Bailey's Young Rider final. Two round competition, top six combinations will come back at the completion of the first round. We welcome now Kate Hurdson, and Kate is aboard Idol D. She's from Ararimu, just outside of Auckland, studying to be a helicopter pilot. She rides Idol D by Inductoro, out of the Mia Fairbanks Evita.
Comes to the last does Kate. She sits on four faults. The time should be good. Great ride, Kate Hurton and Idle D. She goes four fault round. So she goes and adds her name on the list with Lachelle Small and Oliver Croucher on a four fault round. Bailey's young rider, final of the year. Kate Hurton and Idle D just jumps a four fault round. They join Lachelle Small and Oliver Croucher at the top of the leaderboard. We go to Nicola Hammond. Nicola is aboard. Carlo One from Cambridge is Nicola. She is a Sir Edmund Hillary Scholar at the University of Waikato. And Carlo One is a warm blood by Cantos of the Mere Grace. Bred in Holland by the HBC stud. Owned by Cavaletti Limited. Nicola Hammond aboard Carlo One. Still waiting the elusive clear round. Bailey's young rider final horse of the year 2020. I take faults for Carlo one and Nicola Hammond. Two rails down and eight faults. But she will move into sixth place at this stage. So one of the faster eight falters. So she was currently sitting in sixth. And the top six will come back for the Second round, Ziggy Stardust, GNZ, is the horse you see there in front of you, ridden by Brooke Hawthorne. From Cambridge is Brooke. 17 years old is Brooke. She won the Horse Derby at Equidays 2019. So she can hold the title of the last person to win at Equidays, as Equidays will not be run again this year. She rides Ziggy Stardust GNZ by Lansing out of the mare Nurko Jr. Bred at Golden Grove Stud. And Paul Fuchs in the team. She sits on four faults at the moment. Just a brick off the wall. Outside the time allowed too for Ziggy Stardust, GNZ and Brooke Hawthorne. They'll finish on five faults. Four jump and one time. Brooke Hawthorne and Ziggy Stardust, GNZ. They'll go into fourth at this stage. Bailey's young rider final. Metre 30, metre 40. Riders 21 years and under. At the moment, we 
we have three four falters. Michelle Small, Oliver Croucher and Kate Hurdson. Two on five, Brooke Hawthorne and Seal Butler. And the top six is rounded out with Ali Carson and Waharel Ritchie with eight faults at the moment. We go now to Colleen Cruz and Orame's girl VDL. 18-year-old from Auckland is Colleen. Rides a 12-year-old chestnut mare by Orame VDL out of Chalican Jenna. Well, an unfortunate rail there at the Wade Equine vertical. Looked to have been going really well. Was Colleen and Orame's girl, VDL, comes to the last. She's inside the time allowed, so it is just a four-fault round. Down at fence 10, the Wade Equine Oxer. Total of four. So she joins the other three riders on four. Ollie Croucher, Lichelle Small, Kate Hudson, and Colleen. Five combinations left to go. First round, Bailey's young rider final. Set at 1 metre 30 to 1 metre 40. We welcome Olivia Dalton from Caracas. Year 13 student at St. Kent's in Auckland. Bred by Daniel Webb, was Cheyenne by Eurosport Centavos. Can we get a clear round out of our final five combinations? So a few rails there for Olivia Dalton and tips her hat to signify retirement. Does Cheyenne and Olivia Dalton. So the combination you see there in front of you, Fibre Fresh Delphine NZPH for Briar Burnett Grant. Briar Burnett Grant aboard a Fibre Fresh Delphine NZPH by Canan out of Spring NZPH. From Talpo is Briar. She won the Olympic Cup, which is set to go again on a Sunday at around about two o'clock. Is our horse of the year. A big class. Won that in 2018. Aboard Fibre Fresh Verona. She rides Fibre Fresh Delphine NZPH. 
Bailey's Young Rider final of the year. We still wait for the elusive clear round. Comes to the last now, does Briar. She is going to be very, very close for time. In fact, she's just clicked over time now. So she will incur time faults. She incurs two time faults. So it's clear jumping, but it is two jump, two time faults. Two time faults for Briar Burnett Grant. Will that two faults come back to haunt Briar or will it be a saving grace? So two faults, Briar Bennett Grant and Fibre Fresh Delphine NZPH. They go to the top of the leaderboard. At the moment, the top six are Brooke Hawthorne, Colleen Krause, Kate Hurdson, Oliver Croucher, Michelle Small and Briar Burnett Grant. Those are your top six that at this stage We'll be back with four combinations left to go. We welcome back to Land Rover Premier Arena, Peter Milne. And Peter is aboard Nahiwi Warrior. From Nelson is Peter. She rides Nahiwi Warrior by the stallion Ratahihi. Bred by Bruce Holden and owned by Jenny McIntyre. It's 12 jump faults and two time faults for Nahiwi Warrior and Peter Milne. Total of 14. Total of 14. So, 
Two combinations left to go. We still await an elusive clear round. We had a clear jumping, but two time faults for Briar Burnett Grant and Fibre Fresh Delphine in ZPH. We've got four on four faults and one on five. That is our top six at the moment. Brooke Hawthorne, Colleen Krause, Kate Hudson, Oliver Croucher, Michelle Small, and Briar Burnett Crack. Two combinations left to go. First of those is Elmo Jackson. Studying a finance and economics degree at Massey University. 20 years old is Elmo. Rides the Bailey's Young Rider final, Centino. By the stallion, Centadel out of Verbach 2. Oh, slightly outside the time allowed. He'll also incur a time penalty. So it's two rails down for eight faults and one rail, one time fault for Elmo and Centino. Total of nine, Elmo Jackson and Centino. Final combination in the first round, Bailey's Young Rider final. We welcome Sophie Scott aboard Lakota. We saw her ride in the seven-year-old Lakota for Sophie Scott. From Wellington is Sophie. They sit in fourth place in the Young Rider series. Can we get our elusive clear? Bailey's Young Rider final, metre 30, metre 40. Sophie Scott aboard Lakota. Final combination. Come down to the treble now, Lakota and Sophie Scott. Oh, has the two rails there. So she'll go to eight faults. That'll put her outside the top six. Big leap over the Wade Equine, Oxa, Lakota and Sophie Scott. From Wellington is Sophie. It's a 12-year-old school ball belt gelding by Pintado Desperado. Comes to the last, she's up and over the last, it's an eight fault round. So we see her come down through five A and B. In the replay. And it'll be an eight fault round for Sophie Scott and Lakota. So the finish of round one, the Bailey's Young Rider final. Set at one metre 30, one metre 40. Six combinations will be back. The top six you see there on your screen. Brooke Hawthorne, Colleen Kraus, Kate Hurdson, Oliver Croucher, Lachelle Small, and Briar Burnett Grant. It is a two-round competition. 
the jumps and fences will get put up and those that aren't going to be jumped will be taken out for the second round to decide who will win the Big Red Cup sponsored by the York family. Well, it won't be Emily Hayward going for a three-peat aboard Yandu Lady Gold, the Big Red Cup. Right here in front of us, Land Rover Premier Arena. Who will take out the win? Will it be the only boy in the class, Ollie Croucher, or will it be one of the other five young ladies? Brian Burnett Grant, Lachelle Small, Kate Hudson, Colleen Krause or Brooke Hawthorne will be back in a couple of minutes with the second round of the Baileys Young Rider Final. Set at 1 metre 20 to 1 metre 40. Land Rover Horse of the Year 2020.
So to Land Rover Premier Arena, we welcome you all back for the second round of the Bailey's Young Rider final. Seven combinations will be back. Seal Butler, Brooke Hawthorne, Colleen Kraus, Kate Hudson, Oliver Croucher, Lachelle Small and Bryant Burnett Crane. Who will be the lucky combination to put their name on the Big Red Challenge trophy donated by the York family? Some wonderful names have gone on the Big Red trophy. Who will it be this year? It will be a new name. Our winner last year, unfortunately, eliminated at the second fence by falling off Emily Hayward aboard Yandu Lady Gold. But seven combinations. This is a two-round competition. And should we have an equality of faults at the finish of this round, there will be a jump off. Briar Burnett Grant at the moment, sits on top of the leaderboard with two time penalties from her first round. They come back in reverse order. You'll see there on your screen their total they carry through, and that's five for Seal and Mata Ferro Luciano. An Andalusian thoroughbred cross is Mata Ferro Luciano. Carry five penalties through. Here yeah, I can use the history. I'll rail down there and you'll see her score goes to nine. Big leap over five A. It was part of the double combination in the first round. So a slightly shortened course. Comes to the last. That is now fence 15 that was fence three in the first round. She jumps the last. Does a seal. Two round competition score of nine for seal. 60.40. The time allowed is 63 for this second round. No, she's inside the time allowed and she finishes with a two round total of nine. Should we have a, an equality of faults at the completion of this round, there will be a jump off. We go now to our second five falter from the first round, Brooke Hawthorne, and she rides Ziggy Stardust GNZ. Bailey's Young Rider final, Land Rover Horse of the Year 2020. Ladies, young rider finals. These seven combinations invited back for the second round. The winner will be the, determined as the combination that finished with the least amount of faults after two rounds. Should we have an equality of faults, we will have a jump off. They start on a clean slate in the jump off. And then we will go and see whether they can go fast and clear in the jump off, should it be needed. We have one combination on two faults. And three on four. Brooke having a rail at the Bailey's Oxer. She sits now on nine. Two from home, four. Brooke Hawthorne and Ziggy Stardust, GNZ. She jumps the last clear. Her time of 58.51. We'll simply sort out the minor placings should any of these other riders go round and carry on jumping clear. We go to the first of our four four falters with five combinations left to go. We welcome Colleen Krauss aboard Oramay's girl VDL. Bailey's Young Rider final for 2020. Who's going to put their name on the Big Red Cup? Get the bragging rights for the next 12 months of being the New Zealand Young Rider of the Year. Staying in front of the other two riders, and they're down. He's still there, 
Colleen and Orome's girl, VDL. Should they jump clear, they then put the pressure on our following combinations that they can't afford to have a rail. She needs to finish with less than nine to finish in front of our first two riders. If she has a rail down, she will get four penalties. She'll then go to eight. She'll still sit in front, but the combination's coming after her. Also sit on four penalties. She picks up eight for this round. She goes for 12 for her two round total. She slots into third place at the moment. Orame's girl and Colleen Krauss at the last. Up and over the last, it's an eight fault round and 12 faults after the two rounds. She finishes on 12 and that'll put her into third at this stage for Bailey's Young Rider final. One metre 30 to one metre 40. Land Rover Horse of the Year for 2020. Seven combinations have will come back for the second round. We go now to our fourth combination. Young lady is studying to be a helicopter pilot, Kate Hurdson. She rides Idle D. She lives in Ararimu, just in south of Auckland. Idle D by Inductro out of the mere Fairbanks Avita. Owned by Kate and her mum, Ingrid, who sit in ninth place of the FMG Young Rider Series. Student at Auckland University is Kate. She sits on four faults coming into this round. And her equation too, relatively straightforward. Should she jump clear, she puts the pressure on everybody else. They have to jump clear to be anywhere near it. Then the fun part, we go to a jump off. Should we have an equality of faults? Kate rides idle D, comes to 8A and B, was part of the treble in the first round. Oh, and she drops a rail there. Does Kate aboard Idle D? So that'll put her to eight faults. She'll still go and sit in the lead though. If she finishes on the eight, shortens up to the last. She's inside the time allowed, so she will go to the front of the leaderboard with eight faults. So Kate Hudson and Idle D, they sit on eight faults at the completion of their two rounds. The equation is relatively simple for our final three riders. Two of them sit on four faults, and one of them sits on two. Ollie Croucher, Lachelle Small, they sit on four faults each. Briar Burnett Grant sits on two faults. Ollie Croucher had a young rider class last year that he'd rather forget. Can he make amends for it this year? He won the Norwood Gold Cup last year here at Land Rover Horse of the Year. He just recently turned 21, just two days ago, did Ollie. Can he get a belated birthday present and restoration for last year's mistake in the young rider? All he can hope for now is to not have another rail aboard Waitangi Surf. Paris, is she known at the stables at home? Rail at the first fence. He sits on eight faults at the moment, does Ollie. He'll need to stay clear. Need to stay clear to be in with a shot should Lichelle have a rail and Briar will need to have two. Waitangi Surf comes down to the last. He sits on a total of eight. He's over the last 
and he is inside the time allowed. So Oliver Croucher has two four fault rounds and sits on an eight. So we have a first equal at the moment. Can we get a clear? We didn't get a clear in the first round with Breyer getting two time faults. So at this stage, Oliver Croucher and Kate Hurdson sit on the front with a two round total of eight penalties. Two combinations left. Bailey's young rider final set at one meter 30 to one meter 40. Lachelle Small, AMS Glenn Brook, Archie Bunker. They sit on four penalties coming into this last, sorry, this second round. Should we have an equality of faults after this, we will go to a jump off. At the moment, Oliver Croucher, Waitangi Surf, and Kate Hurdson on idle D sit on eight penalties after their two rounds. After the first round, Lachelle Small and AMS Glenbrook Archie Bunker sit on four. Should they jump clear, they will go and hold one hand on the big red cup. If they have a rail, they will then join Oliver Croucher and Kate Hurdson at the top of the leaderboard and potentially a three-way jump off. With one combination to follow Lachelle. Lachelle's aim here to jump clear. Jumps in, oh, she has a rail at 8B. She can't afford to have another one. Should have our last combination jump clear though. There won't be a three-way jump off and their time in this round will be the determining factor of where they place. And at the moment, Ollie holds the fastest round. She's safely over the last is Lachelle and her time quicker than Ollie's a 55-4-4. So she will go into the fastest eight falter. 55-4-4 for Lachelle. So the worst that she can do is second. Michelle Smallen, AMS, Glenbrook, Archie Bunker. The worst they can do is second. Should our final combination go clear or should our final combination have one rail? They've got one rail in hand. She can afford to have six time penalties if she wants. She can afford to have one rail. She can't afford to have two. Briar Burnett Grant, Fibre Fresh Delphine NZPH. She's never won the Young Rider of the Year title. She's won the Olympic Cup. She's won the Pony of the Year. Can she add the Big Red Trophy to her ever growing list of national titles? Briar Burnett Grant, Fibre Fresh Delphine NZPH. Shortens up to fence 12, nicely over fence 12. She can afford a rail, she can't afford two. She's got six penalties up her sleeve. Four faults for a rail, one time fault for every second over the time. Don't look as if she's gonna have a time fault. She can afford one rail. She'll be looking to go clear, Will Briar, Burnett Grant and Fibre Fresh. Delphine NZPH shortens up a bit there and jumps big over the Oxa. She comes to the second to last. She's just got to jump the last. Doesn't matter whether she has it down. She's just got to jump it and get through the flags and she wins. Briar Burnett Grant, Fibre Fresh, Delphine. They jump clear in the second round. They'll finish on two faults. Bailey's Young Rider of the Year, the winner of the Big Red Cup. And that'll go to Briar Burnett Grant aboard Fibre Fresh Delphine NZPH. She takes the win. Briar Burnett Grant. And it will be a very, very emotional win for Briar. Having lost her father 12 months ago to his battle to cancer. Very, very proud win. Briar Burnett Grant and Fibre Fresh Delphine in ZPH. They take home the Bailey's Young Rider final. What a cracking ride. Briar Burnett Grant. 
They jumped clear in the second round. They carried through their two faults from the first round and they finish two rounds on two faults. We'll shoot down for presentations in what is going to be a very emotional Bri Burnett Grant. She'll get the cover and the big ribbon. She'll come into Land Rover Premier Arena for presentations of the Bailey's Young Rider Final. gentlemen the premier jump in arena and it is now a presentation time
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome our play skitters from the Bailey's Young Rider into our presentation. And a uh, very warm welcome on behalf of Bailey's to Tony Rasmussen, Bailey's great supporters of the Horse of the Year show. Tony, great to be back here again this year. Absolutely. It's a stunning, stunning event. Uh, Weather's holding out, fantastic place. Uh, great to see all the people from around the, uh, the country coming to support this uh, fantastic event. Now with Bailey's, now tell me that the full service, uh, number, New Zealand's number one full service uh, agency in New Zealand? Correct, yes, we, uh, we cover the range from uh, residential right through lifestyle, rural and uh, commercial property. So yeah, we cover the whole, uh, whole gambit. And of course locally in here in Hawke's Bay, you cover quite an area. Absolutely, we cover our um, our business covers basically the east coast here, uh, right from Gisborne right through to the Wairapa, but uh, certainly Hawke's Bay covering, you know, as I say, everything from uh, residential right through to rural and, uh, and commercial. Great stuff. Well, there you go, folks. If you're looking for a, in the real estate market, make sure you consider Bailey's great sponsors here of the horse there in particular of the young rider this afternoon. Well, we're going to hand the big red trophy to Tony and we'll ask our winning rider to dismount and come forward. So as she comes forward to receive the big red trophy, just go forward, mate, and present it. Ladies and gentlemen, for 2020, the Young Rider of the Year, let's hear it for Bra, Burnett Grants. Just want to stand next to Tony and get some photos. Of course, Bra riding Fibre Fresh, Delphine NZPH. Well, Bri, you've won a few titles over your time here at Horse of the Year, but the young rider won and that's eluded you, but you've got in the bag today. You must be happy. I'm really happy. I was um, choosing between putting her in the seven-year-old class or this because she's still only seven, but I think I made the right choice. <laughs> well, you certainly did that. Obviously, two-round competition. You just had those annoying two time faults in the first. Did you feel the pressure coming into the second, knowing that you know there was a couple of eight faults ahead of you, but anything could have happened? Um... As soon as I jumped at the second to last fence, I kind of had a breather, but I knew I couldn't fall off. But yeah, she just jumped amazing for me, so I'm thrilled. You've got a great team behind you and obviously uh, lo loving all their support. Yes, I'm very lucky to have um, Jeff McVean's support. He's coached me for years. Um, I've got lots of my family here. Big thank you to my mum and my sister Kylie from Coming for Australia. Um, and my sponsors, Stirrups Equestrian, Fibre Fresh, Better Vet and Canada for Cancer. Fantastic. Well, put that trophy in the air as we celebrate our winner of the Young Rider for 2020, ladies and gentlemen, Brian Burnett Grant. You leave that one. I'll swap you over that one. Thank you. We'll ask Tony now if he could go out and congratulate our other place getters. As you too, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for second place getter riding AMS Glenbrook Archie Bunker, Lee Charles Small. In third place, the board White Tangy Surf was Oliver Croucher. In fourth place, riding Idol D, Kate Hurdson. In fifth place, the board Ziggy Stardust, GNZ, Brooke Hawthorne. And in sixth place, riding Metaferro, Luciano, Seal Butler. Well, again, we thank uh, Tony and all the Baileys team here in Hawke's Bay for their ongoing support of the Horse of the Year show and in particular of our Young Rider Championship. Always been great supporters and we look forward to their continued support. Well, the horses have been quite excited here in the presentation, so let's uh, get excited again one more time for them, ladies and gentlemen, as we put our hands together for all our place getters in the Baileys Young Rider of the Year, led out by our 2020 winner aboard Five Refresh Delphine NZPH. It's Briar Burnett Grants. Destiny, I have waited patiently. Your 2020 Young Rider of the Year is Briar Burnett Grants. I want the wonderful Fiber Fresh Delphine in ZPH. Second place, Lichelle Smalls. Third place, Oliver Croucher. In fourth, Kate Hudson. Fifth place, Brooke Hawthorne. And in sixth place, Syl Butler.
One more time for her, the 2020 Young Rider of the Year, Briar Penetra. Now it's just who wants it most. It's just life. So a great win there in the Bailey's Young Rider final of the year for Briar Burnett Grant aboard Fiber Fresh Delphine NZPH. Great win, the one trophy that has eluded Briar the Young Rider of the Year. The Big Red Trophy goes to Talpo for 2020. So that brings to completion the Bailey's Young Rider Final of the Year. But the Cavalino Silver Fern Stakes are set to get underway at 4.30 here in the Land Rover Premier Arena. 19 combinations will come and attack this Werner Deg designed a course set at 1 metre 40 to 1 metre 15. 19 combinations at 4.30. We'll be back via Sky Sport next. We look forward to you joining us here at Land Rover Horse of the Year 2020. I have to pick myself back up And when I fall down Hastings is a warm and plentiful district. A place in the sun feeding the world with its abundant riches. Glorious fresh fruit and produce. Award-winning wines, swimming and biking, fantastic weather and fun in the sun. Hastings has an outstanding landscape, the triple peaks of Temata and the stunning Cape Kidnappers with its famous colony of gannets. Hastings is the heart for many of New Zealand's favourite sporting pursuits and attractions. The business and retail precinct is at the top of its game. At the helm, it's innovative, hard-working community. A diverse global and Māori culture enrich our district. Our kete is now full to the brim. Come and bask in the bounty of the Hastings district, the heart of Hawke's Bay. Quiz. Query. Try. Spy. Take cover. Go for a swim. Go on a whim. Go outside in and inside out. Look once. Look twice. Follow a compass, not a clock. Never stop discovering. Ultramox, the multi-worming solution for horses from Bayer. Ultramox is the only triple active wormer that contains moxidectin. Ultramox is effective against internal parasites of horses, but the addition of moxidectin means that it's also active against encysted cyathostomes. Ultramox was developed in New Zealand and is manufactured in New Zealand for New Zealand horses. Available from your local vet, equine specialty or farm supply store. Bayer, science for a better life.